हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज इकोनॉमीज ऑफ स्केल एंड डिस इकोनॉमीज ऑफ स्केल वेन लॉन्ग रन एवरेज टोटल कॉस्ट डेक्लाइंस एज आउटपुट इंक्रीजेज देर आर सेट टू बी इकोनॉमीज ऑफ स्केल सो इन दिस फिगर यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज एवरेज टोटल कॉस्ट इन द लॉन्ग रन दिस इज लॉन्ग रन एवरेज टोटल कॉस्ट का ओके सो वेन लॉन्ग रन एवरेज टोटल कॉस्ट डेक्लाइंस एज आउटपुट इंक्रीजेज दैट मीन्स दिस पोर्शन दिस वन this portion so this portion is termed as economies of scale that when output level increases long run long run average total cost declines so this portion is known as economies of scale when long run average total cost rises as output increases there are said to be diseconomies of scale so when long run average total cost rises with the increase in it with the increase in output then that portion is known as dis economies of scale that means this portion this portion that when output level increases then long run long run atc also increases so this portion is known as dis economies of scale and when long run average total cost does not vary with the level of output there are said to be constant returns to scale so when the long run average total cost curve does not vary it remains same it remains constant when output level increases then that portion is known as constant returns to scale that means this portion this portion this one this is constant returns to scale that when output level increases long run atc remains same or remains constant it does not vary so that portion is known as constant returns to scale economies of scale often arise because higher production levels because higher production levels allow specialization among workers which permits each worker to become better at a specific task at low levels of production the firm benefits from increased size because it can take advantage of greater specialization and that is the reason coordination problems are not yet acute thus long run average total cost is falling at low levels of production because of increasing specialization so long run average total cost curve at low levels of production it is continuously declining because of increased specialization there are economies of scale because of increased because of increased specialization specialization among workers and its opposite case will be that dis economies of scale can arise because of coordination problems that are inherent in any large organization at high levels of production the benefits of specialization have already realized and coordination problems have become more severe at the firm as the firm grows larger and that is a reason long run average total cost is rising at high levels of production because of increasing coordination problems so this portion this portion in which we can see that long run average total cost is increasing uh, it is increasing so this represent dis economies of scale and why it is increasing because of coordination problems coordination problems economies of scale because of increased specialization among workers for example if ford hires a large number of workers and produces a large number of cars it can reduce cost with modern assembly line production Dis economies of scale can arise because of 
coordination problems that are inherent in any large organization. The more cars Ford produces, the more stretched the management team becomes and the less effective the managers become at keeping cost down. So, this is an example of this one. Okay, Ford uh, pe unhone ek example diya hai, that when it produces large number, huge number of cars, then it can reduce its cost with modern assembly line production. But just as the firm ka size increases, then it leads to coordination problems. And because of those coordination problems, the long run average total cost curve, uh, the long run average total cost increases. So this analysis shows that while long run ATC curves are often U-shaped, U-shaped है ना वो? अगर हम देखें यहाँ पर that this long run ATC is U-shaped, it first declines because of economies of scale, then it becomes constant, right? And then it starts to increase, which represents this economies of scale. Fine. तो ये तीन concepts हैं यहाँ पर एक economies of scale, एक constant returns to scale और एक diseconomies of scale economies of scale kya kehta hai that when output level increases the long run atc the long run atc declines constant returns kya kehta hai that when output level increases then long run atc uh, the long run atc becomes constant right it does not vary and this economies of scale that when output level increases the long run atc uh, the uh, the long run ATC just a second it also increases right and economies of scale economies of scale ka reason kya tha increased specialization among workers and this economies of scale ka reason because of coordination problems among workers fine so that's all from my end thank you